damage! Edge, this is bad! There's too many of them! It's just one thing after another with these freaks. I like attention. This is too much. There's even more, Kay. What's going on? Yeah. Amazing. Uh, Every single one uh, with pinpoint precision. Oh. What in the world is going on? I... I don't know. Keep your guard up. Something is coming. More of them? Wrote on? It's a soul, no question. That's an Eldarian ship. Is that the person who just landed all those incredible shots? He didn't even miss a single one. Wow! But who is he? Independent Armored Division. Aramat.
You're so strong, Kay. Yes, I was so surprised I felt like flying away. Not that I actually could. Whoa, they beat them all by themselves. Mr. Crow, I see you made it to EN2 safely. Thanks for your help on Cardian on, Bacchus. Yo, Edge, Raimi, long time no see, huh? You bastard, I thought you got yourself killed. Crow. S stop Just stand aside, boy. Unless you have a desire to get caught up in this. Have we... met somewhere before? I'm not the type to forget a pretty face. <laughs> Finally. Finally. <laughs> I knew staying with the boy was the right choice. I never imagined I'd find you so quickly, my mortal enemy. Stop! This is some kind of misunderstanding! You may have forgotten me, but oh, I remember you. Your face hasn't been out of my mind for even a moment! At last, here and now, my beloved shall be avenged! Muria! Muria? Could it be? Miria. Miria. I'll kill you. I will kill you! I'm sorry, Muria. Can you just listen to me for a minute? Let go! Let go of it! I have something for you, from Lucian Tianesis. 
How do you know Lucian's name? We shot the warship down. It's safe. The enemies are gone. You people saved me? Lucian! Lucian left a message before he died. Please, I want you to hear it. Many thanks. What are you saying? Hey! This ship is from Earth! We're not your enemies! It's all right! I am of the Morphous. My name is Lucian Tianesis. <laughs> Damn it! I can't understand you! Your ship is finished! You have to get out of there! Brave man. In the hope that my words will someday be passed on, I leave this message with you. I pray that you will one day be able to deliver this, my final message, to her. My beloved wife, Muria. Please, forgive me for sending you into space alone. I didn't have much time left, and it was the only way to protect you. that mean? <sighs> hey, you all right? Say something! Muria. Hang in there. No, don't die on me. I want you to live. What was that about? The warp accident when we were heading for Eos. When we were thrown out of the wormhole, we sighted a vessel under attack by a Cardian on warship. Once we'd shot down the Cardian on warship, we hailed the crippled vessel and offered to rescue their crew. <laughs> but, as you just heard, we weren't able to communicate with each other properly. I would hypothesize that when Mr. Lucian's ship was attacked, the wave for generation subsystem of the ship's translator was damaged. So, we were only able to understand the message just now because of these translators? Yeah. I only realized what this message meant myself after I met Bacchus and he let me borrow a translator. 
Miria Tianesis. I've been searching for you ever since that incident. Finally, I'm able to pass this on, and also... I finally get to apologize. I'm sorry. So sorry I wasn't able to save someone so important to you. She needs to be alone right now. Okay. So, let's just do what we can here. Crow, what's going on? The exploration base on Eos is in ruins. We've got these mysterious enemies called phantoms running around. And now, all of a sudden, you've shown up here. That can't just be coincidence, right? If you're traveling with Bacchus, you must already understand a lot of this. Is it safe for me to make that assumption? I explain the details on the Cardianon mothership. Well, that saves us some time. Oh, I guess you two haven't heard about all this yet. Oh no, please don't concern yourself with me. I don't want to get you all off track. If you could give me a simple explanation later, that'll be just fine. That's fine with me too. I'm kind of like Sarah, not too good with the hard stuff. Me too. But you already know, don't you? I don't want to be left out. Me and Sari and Mary are together, okay? Even for you, Lemel, that's a little juvenile. <laughs> You've made some pretty interesting friends, Edge. Yeah. And they've all been a big help. Huh. I see. After leaving the Cardianon mothership, I made contact with Amorphous, and learned that our entire galaxy is in grave danger. The galaxy's in danger. Huh. Even a little while ago, I probably would have just laughed you off. But not anymore, I take it? Well, we've been through a lot. I can see why you abandoned the SRF's mission of exploration. No, I haven't abandoned it. I just realized there are more important things to be concerned about. My crew understands, too. We're in this together. Does this grave danger you speak of have any connection to what happened here on Eos? Indeed, it does. Of course, it's not just this planet. You must have seen it on the Cardianon mothership, too. Artifacts with the power to transfigure people, even entire planets. The Grigori. The Grigori. I've been all across the galaxy, chasing them down. Then you're here on Eos because... Yeah, exactly. It's been confirmed there's a Grigori hiding out on Eos. We were dispatched here to destroy it. Of course, it happens to be incidental to another mission. So... That meteorite fragment we collected. It was nothing more than a fragment. I imagine the Grigori itself must be located elsewhere. If only I had deduced this earlier. Hold on. Does that mean... Does that mean the Grigori changed the captain and everyone else into something like the Cardianon? No, that's not it. The Morphus discovered some new facts about the Grigori. The influence of the Grigori on objects around them doesn't stop with aberrant evolution. They absorb information from people, machines, everything. 
Then, they process that information to produce inorganic constructs. Replicated ad infinitum. Those phantom ships and soldiers that you fought, that's how they were created. So the Grigori and the Phantoms are linked. Indeed. They absorb information and replicate it? You mean? Afraid so. The exploration base was destroyed by Phantoms. And the original information for those Phantoms came from... the SRF ships that came to Eos and their crews. <laughs> Their information must have been scanned when they were investigating the Grigori. Damn it! What the hell are these Grigori? Why would they... Why would they do something like that? I have no idea. But I do know there are steps we have to take to make sure these tragedies aren't repeated. Too many lives were sacrificed. What if I... What have I been doing? Why wasn't I with them? Why couldn't I protect them? My brethren were being threatened by the Grigori, and I, I didn't do anything to help. That's right, you're Eldarian. There's something... I will explain. Aramat, are you sure? I am. Aramat, sir. You're with the Eldarian military, correct? Why didn't you protect the facility, sir? The military was in charge of security. There is no more military. Huh? Actually, there are no more Eldarian organizations of any kind. Our brethren are aboard emigration ships in space. Emigration ships? To where do they emigrate? I didn't think there were any planets ready for colonization yet. What other choice do a homeless, vagrant people have? Homeless? Vagrant? What? What are you... What do you mean? What's happened on Eldar? Our home is gone. It's all space dust now. Nothing more, and nothing less. <sighs> This is... a joke, right? <gasps> Please... Listen up, lad. You need to know what happened. Everything. No. Don't... Don't tell me. I don't... I don't want to know! Our sun suddenly turned into a red giant, advancing the day of Eldar's destruction by a century. The decision to evacuate the planet was made. But it was then that the Phantom Ships appeared. This was no coincidence. The Phantoms induced our sun to go giant early. They had set a twofold trap to ensure Eldar's destruction. We fought. We fought so that as many of our brethren as possible might escape. scattered, one after another. The last 
last thing I saw was... was saved by this man, Crow, and so I'm here today. That's a lie. Everything. It's all lies. You must be lying. Keep your head, lad. <gasps> you may have lost your home, but if you're still an Eldarian, do not lose your pride along with it. Faze, listen. Your people haven't been destroyed. As luck would have it, Gagan had returned to Eldar, and he directed an evacuation. What? Commander Gagan is... alive? I won't tell you not to grieve for your lost home and comrades. But don't give up. As long as those Eldarians are out there, there are still things you have to do. Yes. I'm all right now. Thank you, Limmel. <sighs> so, what are you going to do now, Crow? Get rid of the Grigori on this planet, of course. And protect the Eldarian refugee ships. What? My Eldarian brethren are here? Yeah, they're with the Aquila, orbiting Eos. Yes? What? Understood. I'll be back as soon as I can. And tell them to get out of there as fast as possible. Got it? I screwed up. Too careless. Did something happen? That was from the Aquila. Apparently, the refugee fleet is under attack by phantom ships. What did you say? I'm going back up there to take command. I have to ensure their safety before we can think about the Grigori. Roger that. Crow, you protect the Eldarians. We'll get rid of the Grigori. Edge? The Eldarians absolutely must be protected. But we can't just leave the Grigori here. So we'll take care of it. You know there's no turning back. I know. I'm prepared. <laughs> All right. I'll leave it to you. Aramat, go with Edge. You know where the Grigori is too, right? If that is your decision, I have no objections. I guess this is goodbye again. Aw, oh, come on. We have the same objective. We'll see each other soon enough. If you believe in me as much as you say you do, go to EN2. Find out how to save the galaxy. All right. Take care of things down here, Aramat. Right. Hold it. Muria! You're going to help those people? Yeah, I am. So I'm afraid I can't let you kill me yet. <sighs> it's a fact that I wasn't able to save your husband. You have the right to do whatever you want with me. 
But for now, I need you to wait. Please. You really are a fool. Huh? Jumping into the jaws of death for people you don't even know? Come now. Only a fool would do such a thing. Miria. Well, it looks like you win, boy. It never had anything to do with winning or losing. I just believed in my friend. Leave the boy and his friends to me. I'll take care of them for you. This is my and Lucian's thanks to you. Thank you. Come on, people. We're moving. Please, wait. What is it, FaZe? Edge, I have to apologize to you. I promised I'd stay with you no matter what. But hearing about my brethren in crisis, I... Inside, I... Listen to me, FaZe. When that Earth from another dimension was destroyed, I completely lost my way. But you know who it was that helped me find it again? My friends. Edge. So believe me, I know how precious friends are. I'm not going to try to stop you. But... FaZe, don't forget about us. We're here. We're your friends too. Thank you, Edge. So long, FaZe. Be careful out there. We shall meet you and Mr. Crow again on EN2. You better not get lost, okay? Take care of yourself, FaZe. Do your best. Wouldn't want to let Crow upstage you. Lad. <sighs> this... this is the Souls. Control unit. Take it with you. I appreciate it. Well then, farewell, everyone. <sighs> Do you want me to stay with you that badly? Well, if you admit this cloak suits me, I might consider it. But it looks really bad on you, Kay. I'm sorry to hear that, Limmel. Lim. Thank you, again. I will save my brethren. No matter what the cost, even if it means losing my own life. Clear data detected. You may now keep FaZe in your party in place of Aromat if you prefer. This does not affect the story. Aromat will still appear in cutscenes. <laughs> yeah, I don't prefer that, so um, we'll keep Aromat as the story intends. FaZe has left the party. That is why I've not leveled up FaZe. Aramad joined the party. Sweet. So we got a new party member, and I feel like I haven't spoken in a long time. <laughs>
The Grigori were detected in a cave to the northeast, lad. Don't waste time sitting around here. A cave to the northeast. Well, I feel like I haven't spoken in forever, but we definitely need the healing point, because I can't believe I got through that battle, just barely. One of the hardest battles in the game, but that was probably two parts ago, and I don't think I probably spoke at all last part. And I hardly spoke this part, because just by the based on the time, I'm assuming I'm splitting us into three. Maybe I split into two, who knows. But, <sighs> until next time, everybody. I've been cows crazy. Do you know what? I better make sure that the recording is fine before I save. <laughs> Until next time, everybody. I've been cows crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And of course, move.